What is going on guys, my name is Little Man. welcome back, thank you for tuning in to another one of my videos and just a quick message to both of our groups of viewers, one to my subscribers, yes you all know that I am currently building my PC, I am unboxing and reviewing all my parts and as goes to outside viewers, welcome, thanks for tuning in to this video and this is one of many computer videos on my channel, you can go check it out, there will be a playlist on the channel and the link to the playlist will be in the description below so you can check out my whole PC build. So yeah. Yeah, today we are going to be unboxing the AMD FX6300 and we're going to be unboxing it and reviewing it and then we're going to be mounting it to the motherboard. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. So yeah, just before we start unboxing it, we're going to take a look at the case. Obviously, you can see the processor in there and obviously, yeah, so yeah, there's nothing really on the case. It just, it sort of promotes AMD. It says get up to 8 cores, even though this is a 6 core processor, as I already said. But yeah, we're going to open this up. My dog is barking, but sure, let's go for it anyway. So we're going to open this up, and yeah, we get a heatsink fan with this as well. So yeah, okay, so empty box, nothing, nothing else in the box. So we got a advanced micro devices fucking disclaimer, instruction book, whatever it is. Then here we got the processor, here we got the processor, and then we obviously have the heatsink fan. Let's take a look at this, nothing really special. Obviously two clamps, yeah, two clamps, and... Yeah, that goes straight into the motherboard or whatever. And yeah, nothing, nothing really special. And then here we have the processor, obviously the CPU. And uh, I think that's a sticker. Yeah, it's a sort of a sticker thing. But um, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna skip straight to mounting this onto the motherboard, which I've already done sort of an unboxing and review of, so do check that out. So yeah, just before we install the CPU, do get rid of any static charge. Uh, like it's pretty simple you just get an anti-static band for either like 3 euro 5 euro it's not it's not really out now it just it just makes sure that you like your components don't end fucking up on you or anything like that because like static charge and electricity it'll just it'll just end up messing up on you so yeah I'm pulling the handle straight up on this msi motherboard i already did a review of this as i already said and yeah so take caution when you're taking out the cpu obviously take it out from the sides nothing more and just just don't don't mess around because one pin messes up the whole thing is fucked, literally, and this is, I paid 120 quid for this, we can't, we cannot fuck this shit up, right, so, uh, just before, like, I, I almost messed up there, yeah, so, gold notch on the side of it, it normally corresponds to, sort of, the odd, the odd corner out on your, on your motherboard, so, yeah, I'm just gonna drop this straight in, zero insertion force now, yeah, see, it just slots right in, all the pins just go straight in, and then, let's see, we lock that right down. And that is pretty much all there is to it. Don't don't push down on anything like that. You'll know when it goes in, and uh, because it sort of it just falls into place. You you need really need to do it to sort of understand it. Like you hear people say it falls into place, but you need to do it yourself to sort of sort of know what's going on. So yeah, mounting this fan then. So this this right here needs to correspond straight into here. So we're gonna sort of mount it probably this way would be best. Yeah, and actually no, we'll, we'll mount it this way, right? So yeah, yeah, right. So yeah, we'll do this side and sort of stick that right down, and then this way as well. Sort of probably had to see, and yeah, so that's in there, and that one's as well. So yeah, we're gonna unlock this around, and that is in. So yeah, for cable management, I'll probably stretch that around. Maybe we could go loosely that way, but you don't want to get in the way of the fans. So we're gonna stretch this right around. It's all about cable management as well. So. Yeah, it's gonna be tight, but we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Jesus. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. I'll do, I'll probably I'll I'll fix it up later. It's just hard to do it with the camera as well. So yeah, that slots straight in there, and that's all there is to it. So yeah, we'll we'll probably fix that later on. But that is pretty much it. That's how you install the CPU straight to your motherboard. All motherboards sort of they're similar enough to this one. And yeah, be really gentle with the CPU, and that is pretty much it. A lot of people go to this 6 core processor. The AMD FX6300 is highly, highly used when building gaming PCs. Obviously, clocked at 3.5 gigahertz, but you can definitely overclock that up to it. Probably safe would be 3.8, 3.9. The max you can overclock it to is 4.1, but I wouldn't really go that high with this processor because you like I paid 120 quid for this, so I wouldn't, I would, I don't want to fuck it up so easy. Um, if you if you have experience overclocking, definitely go for the four or whatever. But I recommend just staying at around 3.8, 3.9, just to be safe.
But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing review and mounting to the motherboard video for the CPU, the AMD FX6300. And obviously, I have a playlist on my YouTube channel of all my computer parts and me unboxing every single one and then building the PC. Do check that out. There will be a link in the description below to that playlist. And I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll catch you in the next video.